seven day forecast in a bit. Right now, time to catch up with our Jill Bellin once again, lacing him up with the state Trojans this morning. Yes, we are here live with the state Trojans this morning and checking out a really cool program that the hockey program has with the international students here at state. And I'm being joined this morning by Andrew, who's a student advisor in the for the international students. So tell me a little bit about how this program works, Andrew, and what it's all about. Um, it's just a program to introduce international students that wouldn't normally know about the game of hockey, introduce them to the Trojans athletics team, and just try and get them in involved in school spirit. Yeah, absolutely. So what kinds of things would they learn? Because this is a hands-on experience. Yeah, um, so they're going to get a tour of the arena here shortly. Um, they'll see the dressing rooms. They'll learn how to put the equipment on. We're going to try and dress a goalie up. And then they're going to come out on the ice, see a few of the Trojans players skate around, take some shots. And just basically learn out the basics of the game. Okay, terrific. This is something that we'll actually be running this morning, and that takes place generally during noon hours, but we're doing this a little bit early for our purposes. So, what is the value for having something like this for students who come from countries uh, where hockey isn't necessarily in their blood as it is with Canadians? Um, it's just, I think it's just something to get them in, immersed in Canadian culture. I mean, hockey, as you know, is a huge part of Canadian culture. And um, we that's part of our job in the International Centre is to get them immersed in the culture, make them feel more comfortable and maybe give them something to do over a weekend, like come and check out a game. Right, as you said, get involved in school spirit. Yep, absolutely. Fantastic. So developing an interest there for the international student body. Now tell me, where do the students typically come from? Uh, it's really from all over. Yeah, we've got them all over the world. So we've got recruiters that will go around. We've got students from China, um, Southeast Asia like Vietnam, South Korea, um, Africa, huge population from Nigeria, we've got Russia, South America, Central America. So it's it's really a global population that we've got, yeah. Absolutely. And for a lot of these students, would this be the first time that they're introduced to hockey? Um, I would say for probably 90% of them, yes, it would be. Wow, that'll be interesting. Yeah. Okay, fantastic. We'll be learning with the students along the way here live at the home of the Trojans. The Trojans will be joining us. We'll have some international students as well. And the best news so far this morning is that this could possibly be the warmest arena in the city, Andy. That's a win. You like the sounds of that, don't you? Our Jill Bellin, I've said it before, I'll say it again. She's a real athletic supporter. And Andy, 648 still working with a clean slate. Uh, no crashes or stalls and light volume showing on major routes. It's starting to pick up. Uh, 50 at times. So that's your uh, forecast for the next 24 hours. We'll have the seven day in a bit, but right now, back to the ice where we find our Jill Bell and it's Saint. Yes, we're actually in the dressing room. Ice comes next because first things first, we need to get all geared up. And we're here live with some Trojans. We're calling this Trojan Hockey 101 for some international students. And these guys happen to be Trojans also on the volleyball team from Australia, Tom and John. Now, Tom, tell me a little bit. What is the extent of your hockey knowledge? Uh, approximately nothing. Okay. <laughs> um, they skate up and down. <laughs> some form of offside rule and they try and put the thing in the net. So. The thing in the net. Yeah. It's called a pack. Yeah. There you go, learning new things today. How about yourself, John? Um, I've watched a bit more of it, but still not great. Not great. Okay, not great. so we're learning new things, and Cody, this is your responsibility. The world is on your shoulders to teach us about hockey this morning. So we're getting geared up. Now, you guys are having a great season, by the way. Uh, so congratulations. You guys are doing awesome. You're number one. Yeah, absolutely. You know, season's going pretty good so far, and just I'm glad to, you know, get Christmas break over and get back and get back to work with the boys. Yeah, get back into it. All right, so uh, let's talk about gear here. And now, first things first, is this dressing room always this clean? Absolutely. We try to keep it real nice and business-like and professional, so, you know, clean dressing room, you know, everyone comes in, good attitude, stuff like that. I like it. Okay, so where do we start in terms of equipment? You got, you're going to gear these guys up. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, we'll start here with our uh, shoulder pads, so we'll, get, we'll give them a chance to try these on. Uh, you know, some players like them bigger, some players like them small. It all depends. Basically, it it's all depends on your uh, your comfort level kind of thing. So I personally like them bigger, you know, a little bit more bulky, more protection, where some guys, you know, like a little smaller. So. Okay. Go ahead, guys. Throw this on. And we'll start with you, Tom. <laughs> see, see if you can figure this out. And shoulder pads for John as well. What else do we have? Um, we also have, um, you got some elbow pads here that the guys can try and throw on. You know, you got to protect your elbows. Now, obviously, compared to volleyball, this is way more equipment. How much equipment, how much padding do you guys wear in a volleyball game? Oh, we've got maybe knee pads and then uh, shoes. <laughs> yeah. and Sneakers. Socks. Sneakers and socks. Okay, what do we have next? Um, after the uh, elbow pads here, we'll, uh, we'll definitely have to get some gloves on these guys. Like I said, you can't play hockey without gloves, right? No. So. No, you cannot. Now, do you personally have any superstitions when it comes to dressing before a game? Um... Not really, no. I'm just, I just kind of like to get ready one skate at a time kind of thing, so. Yeah. yeah. How, about, how about your teammates? 
Uh, I'd say Braden Hopp for sure. He, like, he likes to keep his pads stacked nice and neat like this. And uh, if you kick him over, he gives you a big old stare down. So really? it's, yeah, it's a definite no-no in here. Yeah, don't make the goalie mad before the game. Absolutely. Okay, we're going to get these guys geared up. And uh, still ahead, we're actually going to be hitting the ice, hopefully not actually hitting the ice uh, here on location with the State Trojans. You guys look good. How's this feel? Oh, it feels a little bit awkward. Uh, some things feel a little bit small, but hey. Like. <laughs> we're getting into it. Getting into the sport yes. of hockey. Andy? I think that the guys have the height advantage. I think they got you. I don't want to get taken into the boards with those two. For sure, at least she didn't bring her uh, figure skating skates this morning. Coming up on Breakfast Television, the Survivor Man in the studio. No snow in the forecast over the next 24 hours, but I know where we can find some ice. That's at Sate with our Jill Bellin this morning. We are here at the home of the Trojans, live at State this morning, talking about Trojan Hockey 101. So this is a great program that the Trojans run here to teach international students about the sport of hockey, an award-winning program. And I'm being joined this morning by a JD who's going to do Slapshot 101, good Alberta boy, hailing from Dog Pound, Alberta. Nice to see you. A far cry from Australia, where John and Tom are from. But we're learning our Slapshots here. These guys are a part of the volleyball team, also international students. So we're going to break this down for us. Now, Slapshot, this is advanced. This this isn't the first shot that you learn in hockey, but for these guys, it will be this morning. Yeah, we'll try it out, but yeah, it's not very common, but we'll, yeah, it's, it's tough to learn, but we'll try it. Okay, see how they do. So what do we need to know about uh, a successful slap shot? Well, I think the, the biggest part with a slap shot is a, a setup. Um, you want it in the middle of your body, maybe closer to your toe. It all depends on what you're comfortable with. Uh, knee bend, uh, your power is coming from your front leg, and that's how you're gonna get it. And then uh, you wanna hit about behind the puck, but a, an inch behind the puck, and and aim to where you're going. Uh, and and accuracy is the big thing with a slap shot. It's tough to get off because it takes a long time, but uh, it's a hard shot if you get it off. Okay, all of those things. Were you guys taking notes? Yeah, I tried tried my best to not mess this up. <laughs> Okay. Uh, let's see how it's done here. JD's going to demo one slap shot for us. We're going to stand back here. Braden in net, and we'll see how he does. Good position. Whoa, nice save. Okay, that looked good. Now, you guys are athletes. You've been practicing a little bit. How are you feeling on the ice? Are you feeling stable? I feel like I'm not going to fall over. Okay. That's it's good. It's, it's a start. That's a win. Yeah. All right, who wants to try the slap shot first? John, Tom? I'm going to let John, John has, has voted Tom to go first. Go ahead. Slap shot and uh, JD, maybe you can line him up here. Oh, and I'm going to stand back because I've already been hit by a puck this morning. You want that closer to your toe, but in the, in the middle of your stance there. And you want to hit just right behind there. And it's important to come through with, with power too. Otherwise, it won't go far. But yeah, probably closer up. And with no skates on, be careful you don't slip too. Power. All right. Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> okay, let's see how John does. Uh, <laughs> not exactly straight, but that's okay. That We're just learning here. You never know. It it's always blame the equipment. All right. Hey, nicely done. Good shot. Nice and straight. Come on over, guys. Uh, thanks for being good sports. We're learning the sport of hockey here. It's a great program that the Trojans run for all the international students who are joining us here this morning. Not bad for their first try. What do you think, Andy? Not bad whatsoever. From the court to the ice, these guys have quite the transition ahead of them. More with Jill Belland and coming up, news, weather, traffic on BT. You like the show Survivor Man? Here on Breakfast Television. All morning long, our Jill Belland is getting sporty. And I guess this time out, Jill, the puck stops here. The puck does stop here and exactly where Braden is stationed. So we're talking about State Trojan Hockey 101. I borrowed the helmet. Thank you, Braden. I appreciate it. Uh, now we're teaching international students about the sport of hockey. This is an award-winning community program that the Trojans run here at State and a great opportunity for students to learn about hockey, students who maybe are being first introduced to the sport right here. So is this fun for you guys to be able to teach them what your passion is? Yeah, it is really fun. I mean, they're new to Canada and this is Canada's game. Game, a game that you grew up playing, hailing from Didsbury, Alberta. Good Alberta boys on the team here. Now, you're going to teach me a little bit about goaltending. So we've got the helmet going on. Uh, what else do I need to know? Um, well, there's really one main aspect of the goalie game, I guess, and it's called the butterfly. Okay. Uh, just the position we go in when we go down and stop the puck. Okay. Um, other than that, just try to get in front of it. Doesn't have to look pretty or nothing. Just stop the puck. Stop the puck. That is the goal. Okay, let's see the butterfly. Can you show us? Yep. Okay, here it is. Raisin's butterfly. There he goes. Five more closed. And your stick in front. And just react where the puck is. Yep, that's 
that's how you stop the slap shot a little bit earlier. Okay, now I'm actually going to get to try on the equipment. Hockey equipment, as many Canadians know, has a very distinct smell, but you have a trick for stopping uh, that when it comes to your gloves. What is it? Yeah, we use shaving cream, actually. We just uh, wash our hands with it like soap, and it smells good afterwards. Really? That works? Yeah, I don't know why or how, but it does the trick. It's the magic of shaving cream. Okay, so here I've got a glove on. Okay, nice and whoa, that's a lot of equipment. Okay, now when it came to uh, choosing to be a goaltender, was this something that you always aspired to do? Well, I grew up with an older brother who played hockey also, and he kind of made me go in net playing grass hockey outside on the farm, and that's how I became a goalie, really. Awesome. That's how a lot of Alberta kids grow up, much different than some of the international students who are learning about hockey here today. You guys have a game coming up this weekend. Who are you taking on Friday, Saturday? Uh, we take on Portage. Okay, and your main rival is? Nate. And how close are they to you guys? Uh, they are right behind us in the standings and two points behind us. Okay, fantastic. But currently the State Trojans sit at number one. They're a great team. And it's been cool to learn about uh, the game with these international students down here at State Home of the Trojans. Up next, I get to drive the Zamboni. Yeah. And, yeah, there Hope you go. I don't go. need a license. Well, you do what you can. Absolutely. Good to see safety first. Jill wearing the full mask, uh, but still her winter boots. Like her look this morning. More with Jill in a bit. Ed. Coming up, your last look at traffic and your news headlines. It's all right here. Vice, thanks, Andy. A little cool where Jill Bellin's hanging out this morning. She's at the hockey rink with our St. Trojans. And for some reason, Jill, somebody gave you the keys to the Zamboni. I have the keys and I'm in the driver's seat. This is awesome. Something I've never actually tried before. And Warren's going to help me drive the Zamboni, take it for a spin, get into the corners. Well, we'll see if we can. I don't want to crash into the boards, <laughs> Warren. But tell me what I need to know about uh, driving the Zamboni. We're going to fire this up. Fire it up and uh, get her going. Okay. Then we're going to put it into gear. Just turn the key there, Jill. <laughs> there you go. Yep. There you go. No problem. First things first, start the engine. Then you got to forward and reverse. Okay. So we got it in forward. Everything's controlled by your foot speed. Yeah. So it's all hydrostatic transmission. So put your foot on the on the gas there. Okay. So that means I don't need to brake. Is That's, that right? You don't need to brake at all. So once you take your foot off the off the gas, it'll stop. No braking in the no Zamboni. Braking. All right. So uh, are we in gear already? Yeah. Here? You're in gear. So just put your foot down gently down here to so get you going. Whoa. All right. There you go. Bit of a bumpy Keep her ride. going. There Keep you going. go. There you go. All right. Yeah. I'll jump up here with you. All right. Okay, now, may I say the visibility in this vehicle is not ideal, so how can you actually see where you're going? Well, luckily I'm tall enough I can see over the top, but a lot <laughs> of guys lean out the side. Yeah. And you can see there's a guide wheel there over by the front tire, and that's how you kind of watch where you're going into the corners, etc. Okay, are we releasing water now? No, not yet. I'm going to drop the conditioner here, which does all the work, so just keep going. You're doing fantastic, okay. Jill. So we got that conditioner down. Now I'm going to turn the augers on. There's your augers. Letting up the All ice. right. And then I'm going to put give you some water. All right. Now the Zamboni, while it's releasing water, it's multitasking, right? So you're also actually scraping up the snow and scraping off that first layer of the ice. Right. So I know nobody can see on the uh, on the TV here, but there's a blade on this machine, yeah. and it cuts the ice as it sucks the ice up or the snow up into the bucket. As you can hear, some of the snow going into the chute there. That's what we're doing. So it's pulling it from the uh, ice surface into the horizontal auger, into the vertical auger, and into the bucket. Okay, I'm controlling my speed here, but how fast will the Zamboni actually go? It can go about 30, 40 kilometers now. Really? Is that how fast you drive it? Sometimes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can see why. Okay, this is a blast. So now the snow is collected and it comes up into the top? Yeah, you got her. And then uh, what we do is we do our whole flood, we've got our pattern down, and et cetera. Uh -huh. And then when we're done, we take it off and we dump it and put it into the pit. All right, I don't want to hit the net here. How am I doing? You're doing awesome. Okay. You're doing awesome. So yeah, just stay clear of the net and any pucks. You don't want to pick up any pucks. So no. what that does is plugs up the arms. Oh, okay. that's a bad scene. <laughs> All right, uh, now we're going to run into camera cord here. So I'm going to release oh. the gas. Well, careful. Keep going, keep going. Keep going? Yep, oh, okay. keep going for me. Yeah, there you go. Yikes! You just don't want to stop with the water on. You burn a hole in the ice, Jill. Oh, that's a bad, oh, we don't want to burn a hole in the ice. This may be corners like it's on rails. All right. Thanks very much. We're in the arena manager. I was complimenting Warren because I have to say this arena is probably one of the warmest in the city. I'm going to continue to flood the ice here, you guys, and get this going. This is a fun job. This is awesome. Tomorrow we'll be live at Red Bloom talking about hot hairstyles for 2014.
I could get used to this. <laughs> Good for you, Jill. Good for you. Ash is going to be hanging out at Red Bloom tomorrow, Red Bloom Salon, talking about hair trends for 20.